Hornibrook will give it to Shaw, working the right side, and he is in for the touchdown. Like the Badgers on Saturday, we're just going to keep running right into the start of the press pass. With Wisconsin's improved run game, the Badgers now lead the nation in time of possession, holding the ball for more than 35 minutes per game. Now, there's no question Purdue has struggled this season, but if we learned anything from this past weekend of college football, it's that you can't overlook anyone. There's recent history, real recent, if you just assume something and we we do a little dictionary game and make sure they understand what assume says and and that's the truth right it's um we got to make sure that we put the focus on the things we control and we know we're going to play a good team the badgers and boilermakers kick off at 11 a.m saturday on abc the men's hockey team is back in action this weekend hosting Merrimack. Coming off a 22-save shutout against Northern Michigan in his first career start, freshman Jack Barry will be in net again Friday for the Badgers. So far this season, Barry has not allowed a goal in nearly 117 minutes of playing time. That's the longest streak to start a career in Wisconsin history. I'm planning on playing both goalies, but if Barry decides he wants to pitch another shutout, we might have to have another discussion after Friday's game. But but yeah, Barry, uh, after the game he played and really in all his appearances has been really calm and solid for us. You know, he's put us in a position where, you know, he deserves to be in there. And I think from his standpoint, for a young kid to come in here and be able to uh, to, to take the net away from Matt or at least be able to share the net with Matt uh, says a lot about his character and, and uh, what kind of goaltender he is. Tickets are still available for both Friday and Saturday night's games. Kelly Bates was named Big Ten Co-Defensive Player of the Week for the first time in her career. After her 44 digs this past weekend, helped the Badgers to a 2-0 record. It was not easy, though, as the Badgers won in five sets against Northwestern. UW is 5-1 in five-set matches this year. And Friday, Michigan comes to town, a team the Badgers beat in five sets earlier this year. This is probably uh, <clears throat> the type of competition that you'd probably be seeing in a regional uh, to, to be able to get to a Final Four. So it's a, uh, I'm trying to think it's probably on consecutive days, probably the, the biggest challenge we've had this, this year with two elite, uh, elite teams back to back. Sunday, the Badgers face Michigan State, who's the only conference opponent the Badgers have not faced yet this season. Both the men's and women's cross country teams are headed to the NCAA championships. The men earned the berth after winning the Great Lakes Regional. The women earned an at-large bid after placing third in the regional. Now you can call it a redemption year for the Badgers if you'd like. The team is just having a blast. Well, there's just this boyish, you know, almost childlike uh, giddiness about them. They're very, very excited. And, uh, you know, that's, they're very relaxed. And when you go to a national championship with that mindset, um, anything can happen. You know, it, it, it's good things happen, bad things happen at a national championship. You, you see it every year, and, and we just have to hold it together for one more week, and, and I wouldn't bet against these guys. The NCAA championships are Saturday in Terre Haute, Indiana. The women's soccer team is still dancing. The Badgers are one of 32 teams left as they head to Florida this week to take on the Gators. Since the end of September, the Badgers have clamped down defensively, not allowing more than one goal in any game. But the Badgers have only scored more than one goal once. Now head coach Paula Wilkins is hoping the offense can make things a little less stressful. We usually outshoot the other team, um, but you're right, we're getting a little more confidence to get stuff on frame. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to call that right now. I would like it because um, obviously during the game I don't have to have a heart attack uh, every single time if someone's going to tie it up. But um, I'm excited that we're creating those chances and I feel at one point it's just going to break and we're going to get those chances so, and put them away. The Badgers are making their 10th trip to the second round of the NCAA tournament. They take on Florida Friday at 6 p.m. The women's basketball team scored 100 points for the first time since 2004 in its last game. Unfortunately for the Badgers, it came in a three-point loss. You know, I still believe that, that our defense will come, and we'll continue to work on that part. And, and you know, when you look at two games out of a season that's 30 to you know, 34 games, we, we still have room to grow. The women are home for two games this week, Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesday is scheduled magnet giveaway night. 
That's the press pass for UWBadgers.com. I'm Brandon Spiegel.